Welcome to our Prayer on Fire discussion. Um, this is actually a part of Jay's 14-day devotional on Prayer on Fire. Um, and this is a discussion between Jade, everybody knows Jade, and Beatriz, that's me, I'm the interviewer, but really it's more of a conversation. Um, a lot of people have questions, yes, I'm going to be as asking questions, but really I just want to talk yeah. about prayer, and specifically prayer on fire, but we'll get into that. Um, when I came to the Lord, I didn't really know how to pray. Yes, I, people were telling me, pastors, preachers, friends, whatever, but I didn't really know how to pray and wh what prayer really meant. Yeah. So that brings me to the first question. Biblically, what is prayer? Um, biblically, when you look at prayer, Jesus was the greatest example. Mm -hmm. You see Jesus go away privately. He separates himself from everybody. And he's having some kind of private conversation. Mm -hmm. He's having some kind of private connection that others aren't welcomed into. Mm -hmm. Um, because oftentimes they couldn't even find him. <clears throat> you know, he was away in uh, a secret place. Yeah. And so what we see from Jesus's life about prayer is, is it is a private, personal, intimate connection. Mm -hmm. In our case, because many people pray, some are praying to oceans, some are praying to statues, yeah. um, some are praying to various different things. But in our case, our prayers are going to the God of all creation. Yeah. Our prayers are going to the father mm -hmm. of the entire family, my father, your father. Um, so it is an intimate, private, secret connection and communion with us and with God. Then Jesus goes further and tells us what kind of words go forth in that setting. Mm -hmm. But but we can get into that later. Mm -hmm. The But the thought is, what is prayer biblically? It is the separation of me from life, from people, from voices, from screens, from opinions, ideas, thoughts, and principles to the God of all creation mm -hmm. privately. Jesus said, go to your room, close the door, mm -hmm. privately pray. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a connection. It's a communication, which means it goes one way and comes back another goes another way, comes back. There's a, there's a circular movement. It's yeah. an actual ongoing conversation with God and God mm -hmm. with man. Mm -hmm. And if you get into Hebrew, when it talks about prayer, you see like kiss the face of God, mm -hmm. which would go back to intimacy, mm -hmm. a child on, on their father's lap, mm -hmm. kissing their father's cheek. Well, we're, we're together, it's just us, yeah. and I'm sharing a kiss on my father's face. So then we still see in that Hebrew breakdown of the word prayer um, an intimate, close, you and me yeah. connection. Now, whether I'm speaking or whether I'm touching or whether I'm resting and, you know, yeah. there's all different forms of communication, but I'm having it in this you and me setting. Yeah, so beautiful. Yeah. So basically prayer is intimate, personal, and between you and him. Yes. Now, what would you say about, you know, we come to church and everything, and then there's corporate prayer as well. So there's intimate and there's corporate. So how would, like, what's the difference between those two? Corporate would be like your Christmas get-together. Mm -hmm. <coughs> corporate is Thanksgiving. Uh -huh. um, corporate is we're all lit about the same person. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Corporate is we share in our love. But corporate is also the recognition of we are the one. Yeah. We are one with him the bride. the bride so it's still one on one mm -hmm. when it becomes corporate and this wow. is why we have to be so um his thoughts are higher his yeah. ways are higher we can't be narrow minded when mm -hmm. it comes to the gospel even though we're walking a narrow road our minds can't be narrow because we see clearly we are one yeah. so when we come together corporately um we're still coming as one person yeah. We're coming as the bride. Yeah. And then when we go away separately, we're coming as one person. Yeah. But the difference bet between corporate is if two or more shall gather in my name. You know what I mean? You get this one puts uh, a thousand, two puts 10,000. Yeah. It's this powerful connection of I can text you as family and we, we have some kind of, you know, 
conversation or whatever, but when we come together and we're touching and we're agreeing, we ignite a different kind of power. Yeah. Um, it's very different to do Christmas with your family yeah. um, than to do Christmas alone. Yeah. So there are proper settings to pray corporately and there are proper settings to pray privately. Mm -hmm. If you X yourself out of either one of those, you're going to suffer yeah. because we were made for corporate and we were made for intimate privacy. Yeah. Um, and one the, the most valuable one is intimate mm -hmm. personal mm -hmm. um, because then you're coming corporately and you don't even really understand. Mm -hmm. um, but but the two of them are both powerful but different expressions. Mm -hmm. And I would just kind of connect it to like a uh, Christmas celebration. Mm -hmm. We're all coming together as one voice to glorify the same God as a family before him, a, a collective power unit. Yeah. And things are very different there. Yeah. And it's necessary as well. Yeah, agreeing with each other. Um, so Jesus gives us the model prayer that everybody knows as the Lord's Prayer in Matthew 6, which is where you were talking about closing, shut the door, go to your room, and close the door, right? Right. Okay. So, and he gives us the model prayer. What does that mean? How do we use that model prayer in our I mean, it's the model prayer, but how do we use that without okay. saying word for word, you know? Sure. A lot of people repeat it, and it's such a powerful prayer. I mean, the Lord prayed it, but how do we use that model prayer into intimate prayer life, like you said, or intimate you know, how do we do that? For sure. So first of all, he says this is how you should pray. Mm -hmm. He doesn't say this is exactly mm -hmm. what to pray, you know. Yeah. And I think we, we get confused there because yeah. he also is very, very clear. Do not say repetitious things your heart doesn't <laughs> in, even in mean. The same chapter. <laughs> yeah, it would be like me coming to you uh -huh. and, and we're friends. And for me to say, B, you are an awesome friend. You are a great friend. <laughs> Our friendship means a lot. I know that today we're going to be friends. Yeah. And then tomorrow I say, B, our friendship means so much. It is awesome that we are friends. And today we're going to have friendship. And that's going to be great. You know, whatever I said before. Yeah. And every day I come, you're going to know <laughs> you don't really care about me. <laughs> you're saying your due diligence. Uh. You know, whereas if I come to you and every day it's the same nature yeah. of, of heart, but different presentations and, and different expressions and yeah. different avenues through which I, because maybe sometimes I give you a card to thank you for your friendship, yeah. but maybe sometimes I take you to dinner. Mm -hmm. Maybe sometimes we go out. Maybe sometimes we take a walk and just mm -hmm. talk. Maybe sometimes I help you with a project um, because God gets us to help up with his projects yeah. and he'll talk with us and we'll talk with him while we work on the project. Yeah. So, um, it's very important that we understand. He said, this is how, this is the nature of heart mm -hmm. to come to God with. Not, this is exactly what to quote, quote. Yeah. So can we look at that? Yeah, we can read it. We and read it. I'm going to, um, yes, okay. So it starts with our father. Yeah. Okay, so this is extremely important. Because he's saying, basically recognize, um, it isn't just mine. <laughs> <laughs> All of our <laughs> yeah, He's all of ours. it's our father mm -hmm. and, and he is my father. And that goes back to that corporate and individual expression yeah. all at one time. Yeah. Our father, meaning I belong to a family here on earth in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. You're holy. Mm -hmm. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come to God and you want to recognize who he is. Yeah. You want to show I know who you are mm -hmm. and I know you by name. Mm -hmm. So it's one thing for me to say, um, uh, Beatrice, I've already recognized who you are, yeah. but then I say, you are quiet but fierce, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I just told you, I know you personally. Yeah. I know your name, but I know you personally. So many people get the name right and have no personal mm -hmm. encounter. They can't call him um, sovereign, holy, wonderful, lovely, yeah. generous, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so you take each particle and you stay true to the nature. Mm -hmm. So we have, I say who you are by name. Mm -hmm. I know um, the office you carry in my life. I know your position. Yeah. Then you say, your kingdom come, your will be done. So there we are saying your authority over mine. Mm -hmm. You know, you, your, your way over mine. Yeah. Um, I'm submitted. I'm yeah. surrendered. So Jesus says, when you come in prayer, you come with that attitude. Mm -hmm. It's you over me, mm -hmm. Period. I'm not coming to you telling you how to do my life. Mm -hmm. I'm coming to you to ask you to do my life, you know? So you have an authority expression. Mm -hmm. Then on earth as it is in heaven, so you're asking God, bring what you do to me mm -hmm. and do it here. Mm -hmm. 
you know? Yeah. Bring your ways, your thoughts, your culture here mm -hmm. and do it in my life. Mm -hmm. That's a nature of expression. I could say that a million ways. Yeah. I can say that a trillion ways, <laughs> you know? But it's the nature of heart. Then he says, give us this day our daily bread, which means we can go to God to pray for the things we need. Mm -hmm. We can, Paul says, bring every prayer request, every supplication, everything you need to me. So this lines up here. It's a, it's a heart posture of knowing I'm needy and I need you to do these things for me and we need our provision. Give us this day what we need, our daily bread. And obviously that can be spiritual and natural. And you're understanding you have a need. Yeah. Forgive us of our debts. Hello, <laughs> simple as day. We don't need interpretation. <laughs> Forgive us. So he's saying come in a posture of repentance. You know, it says there was the Pharisee and there was the tax collector. They both go in to pray. Yeah. The Pharisee says, I thank you, God, that I'm not like the wicked people. <laughs> I thank you, God, I'm not like that tax collector. Wow. The tax collector comes in and says, oh, God, have mercy on me. Wow. And Jesus, he told the story. And he says, which one do you think God heard? Right? Mm -hmm. The evil sinner who came in and said, have mercy, than the self-righteous man mm -hmm. who came to God actually expressing his perfection. Wow. So we can actually go to God and express our perfection and it be very unholy and very unrighteous. Wow. So Jesus is saying in your posture, you always come knowing I need forgiveness. Yeah. There's something in my mind that doesn't think like you yet. Yeah. There's something in my heart that doesn't pump like you yet. And you need to forgive it. I don't know what it is. Yeah. You'll show me mm -hmm. um, as it uh, as uh, on earth as it is in heaven. You'll show me in that process. But I know I'm not there yet. So. Um, and it's not this like, forgive me, oh God, I'm wicked and horrible and, you know, <laughs> all the time. It's a posture. Humility, really. Right. Mm -hmm. And we've both had to learn that. And, and, and it, it is. It's a posture of humility. I'm very sure I'm probably wrong about a lot. <laughs> but I'm right about the fact that you are God. Yeah. You love me. You're holy. Your name is holy. You are a father. Your kingdom should come. I'm sure about that. Yeah. But I know there's some things in me that are not there yet. Forgive those things. And then we say, and I like how Jesus makes us say this. Forgive me as I have. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Forgive me as we also forgive those who hurt us. He just <laughs> threw that in there like it's going to be easy to pray that. <laughs> but what he's trying to say is good luck yeah. on asking for forgiveness if you don't have that next line. If you come to God and you want to ask for his mercy and his outpouring of forgiveness over you and you are hating people who have hurt you and you are holding grudges, counting their wrongs, got a notebook in your heart <laughs> that can be pulled out at any time saying X, Y, and Z is what <laughs> they've done to me. And he says, you know, you can't say that part without saying the, you know, wow. you can't have one or, yeah. you know, the other. Yeah. You've got to forgive in order for God to forgive you. And he goes on to say that when you pray, make sure that you have forgiven mm -hmm. or God cannot forgive you. Mm -hmm. So this is again, an issue with the heart. Um, if you are in a constant posture of, I forgive everybody who's acting out, who's hurting me mm -hmm. because I know I've acted out and I've hurt you. Yeah. So I can only request over my life, what you've done in my life. Yeah. Um, and then we have lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. This is basically saying, lead me, I will follow. Mm -hmm. He doesn't lead into temptation. Mm -hmm. There's <laughs> James says very plainly, you know, mm -hmm. um, there is no, the tempter is separate. God does not tempt. He tests, yeah. but he doesn't tempt. So we, we are not saying, you know, lead us not into temptation means I'm going to follow you because you don't lead that way. Mm -hmm. So help me follow you as you deliver me from evil. Mm -hmm. It's a posture. And so he's just giving us, here's some, here's some lines mm -hmm. to show you the hows, the posture of heart that you should come to God with when you want to talk to him. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. And, I, and, and let me just say personally, because it's easy to teach and get all passionate uh -huh. and fiery and mm -hmm. because you feel the anointing on you. Um, <clears throat> but forgive us, forgive me as I forgive. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when I've been in those settings, it's, it's a clenched jaw sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes it's beautiful when you know he's like manifested in your heart mm -hmm. and the tears are streaming and you're just like, <laughs> I can see the cross. I can see the cross. <laughs> of course I can forget, you know. But then there's these settings where the, the jaw is clenched. Yeah. 
and you feel so, you know, in your mind, you feel so misused. And yeah. um, I, this, and me, and you don't realize the sentences as they're going are surrounded by me and I and me and I. Mm-hmm. Um, but as we pour it out from that place, it, it turns into those streaming tears, and we really can see the cross. Yeah. And, and that's, the, that's the power of prayer is you don't have to come with the beautiful tears first. Right. He leads us to the beautiful Uh tears. Mm -hmm. (laughs) We come with the clenched jaw, Mm -hmm. which I have done, and the, you know, bloodshot ears Mm -hmm. because I'm I'm angry because I think I deserve better. Mm. You know, I deserve, you know what I deserve? Hell. (laughs) I deserve hell. So someone's mistreatment of me, it's it's the it's the brokenness of their own nature. Mm -hmm. But I can't learn that outside of that place. Mm of clenched jaw with him. Mm -hmm. If I just clenched jaw anger, um, there's no possibility of, of, of healing. But if I take the clenched jaw anger straight to the chest of God, I, I can turn that clenched jaw anger into precious tears of seeing the cross. And so I think it's important for people to know you don't have to go to God with that beautiful heart. We don't have it without him. (laughs) You know, (laughs) he produces it. I mean, you don't, you don't, we've heard this from other people, but I like to share it as well. I don't know the original source, but you don't go, you don't clean yourself to go get in the shower. Mm-hmm. You get in the shower to get clean. Mm-hmm. 